All right, we're going to talk about this uh, cyclone collector here. Uh, a lot of sawdust goes in there. We put the dust collector inside of a room now, a tiny room, but anyway, uh, made it hard to empty the bags. So we don't want to empty the bags. <clears throat> but this was here long before the dust, the sound enclosure came. This was here because it's just a lot easier to do than emptying those darn bags, okay? So I built this thing, and the dust, of course, collects here in the trash can. This is the cyclonic part. It comes in here tangentially, and it swirls around in that chamber, and the dust flings to the outside, and then there's a slot. Just inside of this cyclonic wall, there's a, there's a slot. It's about three quarters, about seven eighths of an inch wide. The dust gets flung out, comes over to the side, drops down. Gravity's always working on it, okay? So it pulls it, it drops it down, it goes through the slot into the drum. The air goes out the center on the top. Now this is uh, the, uh, one of the fine, I think it's pronounced fine, T-H-I-E-N is the guy that invented this thing years ago. And um, there's millions of, uh, well, not millions, there's a lot of designs on the internet where people have tried to make this uh, quick and easy, and they work a little bit, but if you take your time and make it carefully, it works super. This thing takes out more than 99%. It's almost all the sawdust, including the fine stuff. So it really works well. Um, <clears throat> I had to adapt the, the sizes and everything, but it, it worked out. Now, to make it easy to change this bin, to empty this sawdust out of there, I put the whole thing in a frame so it's mounted, it's sitting there. And that way, I could make it so that this whole top can lift up and down off of the drum. <clears throat> and so, I made this assembly here, and if we move the camera, we'll be able to see these rollers over on the side. You see how this, this is a, an arrangement so that the lid lifts horizontally up. It lifts up parallel, it goes straight up when you do this motion. So you move this down and that pulls this bar up and forward. So there's little rollers under here that lift on this pad, which is attached to the top. So that lifts it up. We've got a little piece of flex hose here, so that can move, and flex hose over there, so the top can move. So when you do the, the, the lifting here, you see, goes down, goes up. Got a guide pin here to keep it from wandering off. So <clears throat> that works really nice to lift this. Just lift both of them, and you can lift one and then the other, it doesn't matter. But once you lift them that little bit, now this is free. There's a groove underneath here that this fits up in when you put it in the right place. To help you put it in the right place, there's stop blocks down there at the bottom that match the bottom part of the drum. So if you put the drum in properly, which sometimes people that empty this don't, but if you do put it in properly and push it all the way back to the stop blocks, when you lower this down, it'll set it right down on top and, and the drum will be in the groove, which is what you want. So, again, this is it. Inside, we've got reinforcement so the vacuum doesn't collapse the, the plastic drum. But you can see the very fine stuff that it, it collects. This was recently empty. So this was uh, Lucite. And uh, well, you can see how it's made. Not much to it. Takes a while to craft it, but it, it, does, uh, it does come out pretty good. <clears throat>